Hello and welcome to Miss Divinity. We are here with the Daily Wusa. Now this is just for the collective. It could be out in the world. It could be at your home, a friend's home, uh, whatever. It might resonate last week, last year. Um, we're all on different timelines. So it could be past, present, or future. We're all on different timelines. Uh, time is also an, an illusion. If it doesn't resonate, you know, check out another reader, spin the block, come back. Also, you can get a personal from me or someone else. But for me, you can reach out to me at MrVenergy at gmail.com or on Wizios where you can look at snippets and clips of other readings that I've done and um, of my ratings and what people say about me when they get a reading. I'm awesome, so whatever. Anywho, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell. There are 999,000 other readers out there. Don't stress yourself out. Everybody's not a part of a, of a certain tribe. That's why I have so many readers. So you can find one that fits for you. Okay? Don't be trying to change these readers. They are who they are. They'll change. They're on their own journeys and evolutions. So if you outgrow a reader, go look at one that's on your level. You know what I mean? So we have uh, the first card that came out. We have romance. So some of you guys could be... Um, and something with romance, yeah, if you believe. For some of you guys, you could be single. Um, you could be looking for romance. Uh, you guys could be in a romantic feeling. And for some, yeah, in the next few months, you could be having uh, someone or a romantic situation come about. Some of you guys might be needing to listen to your intuition every time. It's always makeup on my hand. I have my little towel ready today. <laughs> okay. I literally get cute for y'all. I be running around the house in a bonnet. Doing chores, especially with my kids being on spring break this week. I'm doing like spring cleaning, getting shit ready to go, okay? I get cutes for y'all, okay? Okay, anyway, but yeah. Um, romance, yeah, if you believe within the next month, something could be coming towards you. Uh, listen to your intuition. You have to be in a grounded skit state. If you are in like a toxic state, then yeah, we're not talking about y'all. But if you're grounded, doing what you should be doing, staying connected to Holy Spirit, he will spit, send someone that you will be able to discern their energy and know that it's right for you, okay? So, that's the message Holy Spirit wants to get out really quickly. Listen to your wishing if you believe in romance within the next few months. So if some of you guys are like, man, what was me? When am I going to get my bag? Okay, you might find you a little summertime bag. Not no summer flings, okay? I mean, unless that's what you want. Yeah, look, as soon as I said it, not no summer flings, discipline. If you are disciplined, okay? If you are plugged in, I just said this, then you will have somebody coming your way, okay? I'm recording, baby. So, yeah, we have guilt. So in the next few months when you're... you're um, they wanted me to say fishing through these people. Okay, fish in the sea or whatever. Somebody could be fishing today or soon. Um, once you have that discipline, people will try to make you feel guilty for it. Oh, you're trying to hold that little coochie. Oh, you're trying to hold that what man doesn't have sex. Well, I know it's women out there. It's some men that try to be celibate and try to do the right shit. And there's some women trying to Jezebel they ass when this man is. I wish I could find me a man that's all plugged in and holding himself back and Using his energy for better things than just fucking. But there's some women out there that are Jezebels and they be trying to get it for the ones that got their head on right. So for men or women, um, some people will try to make you feel good. What's wrong, baby? Are you okay over there? Oh, well, go get some tissue. She was over there sniffling real big. I'm like, are you all right? Yeah, uh, some people that try to make you feel guilty about being disciplined. Why would you make me feel guilty? Because I'm doing what I want to do for me to make sure I'm spiritually all together, mind, body, and soul. Sometimes you don't need no sex. You got to get your mind right, especially if you just got out of something. Yeah, for some, you might just be getting out of something. It's like, I just need to take time. Yeah, some of you guys could have been dating the doubting the dating game, but these people are going to try to make you um, doubt or feel guilty because you're disciplined. You want what you want. That's what I'm hearing. I want what I want. And you ain't got it. Fuck boy. Fuck girl. Y'all coming in here just want my cookies and my dang wang. And uh, th th we're not doing that right now. I'm waiting for my real person. Okay? Ring a bell, bitch. All right. <laughs> Let's keep going. Yeah, they wanted me to pull one of these romance cards. So maybe it's like a little romance se session today. Usually we don't have romance in these daily. So it must have been... Uh, for somebody out there, it is so loud today. It's supposed to be 81 degrees today. I am so happy. The last two days have been beautiful. I needed it. 
sexual union. See, that's what I'm saying. You guys are getting in, not getting into sexual unions, but it could be one coming your way, or these are all sexual unions. And it's like, no, I'm going to be disciplined. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for the bliss. Yeah, they're telling me don't pay attention to that shit. What do sexual unions? A lot of sexual unions coming your way. Listen to your intuition was the overall. They're going to try to bamboozle you. They're going to try to act spiritual. They're going to try to act like they got their shit together. But you're going to see it. And then they're going to turn around and make you try to doubt yourself and feel guilty because you don't want to fool with no fuck shit. Okay? I usually don't get that, that cussy cussy on here. But I feel irritation. Are you okay now? <laughs> I feel irritation in it. Like, damn, no. You keep begging me for my... Every time you hit me up, it's, oh, come outside and let me lay up with you. Yeah, like, ugh. Even though, like, on social media, people know my temperature, okay? They know how I'm rocking. You don't just jump in my inbox at 12 o'clock at night trying to get me to come watch Snowfall with your ass because you want to lay up and fuck. Like, no, that, I'm not the one. I got my own house. Somebody even told me, you can come and get in this king-size bed. I'm fine over here in my queen. Thank you. I could turn on Snowfall on my PS5 or on my, um, we got two PS5s up in here, 4K TVs running around. I don't need to come watch anything at your house. I would like to go on a date. Okay, so that's how you're going to differentiate. It ain't hard to differentiate fuck boys or fuck girls. They're going to be wanting them, that coochie or that, that dang wang real fast. All right? So, yeah, you guys are being disciplined. You don't want just the sexual union anymore. I'm hearing somebody like, I want something to call my own. Yeah. Yeah, people are going to make you feel orphaned and left the fuck out. No, you left the fuck out, okay? Especially with this day and age, the world is going crazy right now. The disease is popping out we ain't never heard of, okay? Them little things and uh, <laughs> going to fall off right in your hand. All right. Yeah, some of these people could be burning. Like, you, you want to eat. Okay, this is for not for the kids. M my baby right here, so I got to be. That's why I use the little cold words. Um... Yeah, like, no, no, no. Close it up. Tighten it up. Okay? No. So, we hear, yeah, people are going to start making you feel orphaned, but somebody's going to save you off that rock. Come and get me. Okay? Yeah, somebody's going to uh, give you a, a real offer, the ones that I'm speaking of. But for the ones that, that you don't find love in the next few months, it's like continue to be disciplined. Yeah. Do somebody that want to build with your ass. Give you a real offer, not just a, a night of wands coming in and coming out. and then, Yeah, like literally what I'm saying. Yeah, you have to imagine. We begin to imagine a lot too. Imagine with the serendipity. Um, we got this in somebody's readings, these two exact cards. I just remember these cards. Who was it? Was it uh, Libra? No. Might have been Scorpio. So some of you guys could be Scorpio. It's giving me some of that in here because I remember that uh, reading, okay? Okay, they say we're done with romance. So that was just a quick snippet for some of you guys, all right? So let's get back to it. Yeah, if you believe, you got to believe too. You can't be like, oh, all oh, men and women are the same. You, you're not going to get anything good coming your damn way because now universe, Holy Spirit has to show you that they're all the same. So we got to send people that are all the same. Be careful of what you put out there because that's what you'll get. And I say stuff like, ooh, my husband probably out there today. That's why I'm be leaving out the house looking crazy. My mom always told me that. Now, I don't mind being a plain Jane, but at least have your hair done looking deep. I'm a Libra, so you know we flashy. I don't give a fuck. I have my lashes. I have my little makeup. And I wear a natural look. I don't wear blush and all that. I'm not saying it's bullshit, but I can't take an hour to do my makeup. It literally takes me five minutes to do my makeup. Eyeliner. Little foundation. Boom. Fix my lash if it's crooked. Lip gloss. Done. I don't wear lipstick. I don't do all that. And I don't blame, you know, my mom was a big makeup wear. Took me years to even get a natural beat going on because I started doing that at 30. I'm 36. All right. I'll let y'all know right there. But I care about hair and stuff. Just the basic necessities. Okay, so let's get going. Creativity, sacred journey. So some of you guys, um, through your creative endeavors, a little lip sweating, it is hot. Through um, the creative endeavors, um, some of you guys could find a sacred journey, maybe through something that you felt was a hobby. Um, it might blow up into something more than what you thought, okay? It could have been something that you could have been running from. Um, maybe this is something you do at home. For some, it could be interior decorating, like you could play decorating games or play around with it. And people are like, you should be an interior decorator. You should be, you're like, whatever. And then you start doing it or helping your friends decorate when they move and Next thing you know, you're like, you know what? Maybe I should be an interior decorator. Why not? 
Um, this could bring you some money. You could have been running from this, but it could be any uh, cr uh, creative endeavor. You know, it's a long list. Preaching, painting, singing, whatever. Um, yeah, somebody could be like, I, I regret that I didn't start this fucking sooner. Yeah, it could have been like a side gig, side job. But somebody's going to do this for like main work. Somebody could be regretful that they moved into a home. Yeah, it's like whatever that, uh, for some it could be real estate. Whatever that what that creative sacred journey was, um, it's like synchronicity. It was like showing you all along that this was for you. You could have been ignoring it or not taking it serious. I'm telling you, like material world, it's going to like bring uh, uh, blessings. For some, you're getting blessings and money off people observing you. You could be an actor, an actress, a YouTuber, a tarot reader, or something on a platform. Okay? Material world will go up. Material funds. That, that's usually money. This card. Blessings as well. I left my darn curling iron on. Um, for some, somebody could be running from lessons, okay? Switching tracks. I'll let y'all know when I switch tracks, because I'll let you know when I switch back, because sometimes people, I don't know, I don't know why I'm saying this, because nobody has said anything to me. Uh, they don't know when readers switch tracks or whatever, but we get so many messages, that's why I talk so fast, because I get downloads so fast. And then the ADD be hitting, but people think ADD and all that, they talk fast. No, those are people that just compute faster, or they get a lot of downloads. And it's hard to, if you are a channeler, you channel energy, it is hard to slow those messages down because they're coming at you at the speed of light. I digress. So we have somebody running from lessons. Let's, let's get into it. Yeah, split energy. For some, somebody's going to school, and they could be in sports, okay, as well. Your energy is split up right now. It's like, damn, I got to go to school to be able to do the sports, and I got to do the sports to be able to stay in school. Maybe it's like some type of scholarship. I kind of channeled this energy last week. Maybe it's like a scholarship somebody has to keep. So it's like, oh, we got to run. We got to, somebody got their running shoes and their books and their bag, you know what I mean, or whatever, uh, an athlete of some sort. But I'm going to pull more on this. It is such a beautiful day, guys. I hope it's beautiful where you are. But they did say there's more tornadoes coming for Illinois. We had a couple a few days ago. We were fortunate enough to not get hit, but we're supposed to have some more. Yeah, community. Somebody comes to, like, watch you do this sport, basketball, football. It's like people are proud of you. And for some, it, they might not even want to do this sport anymore. They could feel pressed. Like, look, oh, somebody old as grandma, the grandkids. If we're coming to see my, my good old Nathaniel. You know, it's like, oh, shit, I don't want to disappoint these people. Yeah, it's a, it could be a male out here, or it's a male that really, like, somebody just wants a break, some time alone in a cabin some damn where. And even if this is somebody that's not, not doing it, somebody just running from uh, burdens, like, somebody needs a break. Uh, somebody can experience burnout if it's sports, if it's a kid, school, work. Or something, but it's like a lot of people count on you. A lot of people are proud of you. So you gotta make it happen. <sighs> yeah, so for some you could get out of this this fall. Maybe you'll be finishing school or graduating in the fall. Or it's like you get to take a break because summer's coming and it'll start back in the fall. Whatever the sport is, it could start in the fall and then end. For some, here we go back to the romance, switching tracks. Um, somebody could have started some type of romantic endeavor in the fall. Yeah, and gotten pregnant. We have fall, romance, fertility. Yeah, somebody could have gotten pregnant. Bottom of the deck. Mm, could be alone now. Ah, see? Solitude and pause. So somebody could be pregnant or pause the pregnancy. We all know that, what that means. Um, I don't know if you could pause the pregnancy, but you know what I'm trying to say. Abort. Um, but some type of romance could have grown in the fall, but right now you guys are going through a pause, inaction, retreat, Going deep within, maybe not talking as much. I don't know what happened, but we can try to see. Yeah, we got soulmate, balance, and rise above. So, yeah, somebody feels like somebody's a soulmate. Balance is here. It could be a Libra and rising above, drama. Okay, so there could have been, like, some type of drama, obstacles, pettiness. That's why we're not talking right now, and it's on a pause, okay? Whoever this might be. Excuse me. Yeah, we have both of them came out together. Mature man, mature woman. Mm -hmm. Both of you guys are mature. I think you guys both want this. But it was some type of drama and pettiness that 
Uh, okay, I'm hearing took you apart. I'm sorry. Ah, adjudication, uh, great fortune. Somebody could have realized that somebody was, uh, yeah, because it said pause and solitude, that someone was married, or this person, when they talked to you, you found out they were married, uh, but they're going through a divorce. So that's when somebody was like, well, I don't play these married games, okay? Um, we ain't going to do that. Hit me up when you're done. But the love is there. They're interested. It's just that we have to have a solitude and pause. I feel like everybody's mature. Okay, uh, okay, I, I, okay. Okay. Yep, all right. So we had, I thought it was main male and main female, but it wasn't. It was main male and mature woman. So a woman could be older. And like I said, somebody was married because he's the main male. So this could have been the one that's married. The male, the, 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 the masculine energy could be married. And this woman could be older. Or it could be vice versa. But somebody was going through some type of divorce. It could have been the woman, too, because she has the same hairstyle. So, for some, it's, let me know. For some, it's the woman. For some, it's the man. Yeah, it could be somebody in Texas. I don't know why this dress reminds me of Texas. I don't know why, but Texas popped in my head. This could be going on in Texas. But, yeah, it's a, a adjudication court, all that shit uh, for the money. So, they could be going, like I said, through divorce trials and whatnot in regards to estates, money. And it's like, yeah, when you get done with all that, I'll be here. Like, y'all probably talk or whatever, but it's just somebody doesn't want to get wrapped up because people lie about getting divorces every day, okay? So, they had me pull another card on this. Ah, uh, uh, the Dons. Uh, Princess of Wands. So somebody could be married to somebody younger, and it's like, you know what, I need to mature people. Yeah, somebody realized them young hoes wasn't where it's at. Not saying people, you know, I know a lot of young people that are mature. But the one on this card, ah, ah. She young and ready, baby. Somebody could have a thigh tattoo on their right leg. Again, somebody could be graduating in the fall. But yeah, whatever this young tenderoni was, they get a divorce. She wants to get all his goddamn funds. But at the end of the day, this gets completed. I feel like the divorce goes through. Yeah, somebody fell into this. Yeah, victory completion. I'm telling you, it, it gets completed. It's a victory. It's like it was hard, but we are there, okay? Mm-hmm. We did the old song and dance. He just wanted a couple bucks. I gave her a million, but hey, I got 30 of them. So, whatever. Yeah, Ace of Swords. Cut off. Uh, truth. Okay. So, yeah, they gonna come back. They had to take care of that shit. But like I said, I feel like both parties knew. Everybody's mature about it. Everybody just had to do what they had to do. They were willing to wait. They did. Because this relationship was already in shambles. Somebody went and jumped the, the broom. Okay, I don't want to say jumped and got married, but jumped the broom, jumped out my mouth. Yeah, so jumped the broom. We know that means like instantly just St. St. Louis. Okay, I don't know. I, want, I didn't want to say St. Louis. I want to say Las Vegas because that's what people do a lot of shotgun weddings. But it could have been in St. Louis. Like I said, I heard Texas. I don't know. Shit, random shit coming out. <laughs> Y'all know these random shits. It is what it is. So let's get into some words so we can see what could be coming up. People is cutting that grass today, baby. But it's crazily windy. That's the thing. The storms and stuff supposed to come at night. Like, I'm like, who wants a tornado in the middle of the night? But anyway. Power hour gag reflex. And Mason Jar, they all came out together. Bottom of the deck, classic water bottle is back. Something is coming up for sure about recycling. We keep getting that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody could be bottle. Yeah, it's giving uh, gardening, okay? Or some could be starting to get garden. I'm seeing mason jars. But, but somebody does like, I don't know why I'm hearing refurbished. Yeah, somebody you likes to use items. Yeah, like they're recycling, okay? But they refurbish things to put in their garden. But they like decorate them. But they could be like old trash. But they decorate the trash to look really nice. Like some shit you buy at the store. Refurbish things. Like somebody could take an old wheelbarrow and paint it and decorate it and put it in the yard and make it look really country-like and pretty when it was an old, raggedy, rusty, holy, you know, wheelbarrow. Okay, y'all know what I mean. But somebody's garden is really nice. Fifty Shades of Grey again. Oh, God, why? 
somebody also is being forced to recycle and they're like, no, I'm not with that. Y'all gonna force us here. Somebody could be a part of a, a homeowner society. Okay. They got this plastic water bottle with the TikTok challenge. I don't know if it's some type of challenge that could be with a water bottle or some shit. I think we said something about that last week, but it was like a dance. I don't know. The kids be looking at the TikTok. I don't really indulge. Um, Power Hour, Cotton Moth. Okay, somebody could be drinking too much. You know you dehydrate. Okay, so if you, and me, like me, I easily dehydrate because I sweat a lot. I got it from my dad. We have sweaty palms and feet. So I got to stay extra clean, extra dry. But y'all know I keep it real. I don't give a fuck. As long as I ain't musty, I ain't wet. But, you know, I sweat. It is what it is. But somebody could be um, drinking more liquor than water they're putting in their body. Mm -hmm. Somebody could be very dehydrated. Or just dehydrated, period. You will pass out like that. Like, when I get dehydrated, I get a bad migraines, damn near finna faint. I don't, that's why I say the people that say they don't drink water, I never understood them. Because if I don't go, if I don't drink water for two days, probably because I sweat a lot, I will feel like shit. I'll start getting headaches. I'll start mm, feeling drowsy. Okay, gag reflex with sliding to your DMs. Pick up line, a booty call via social media. Somebody could be DM somebody to get some head, okay? Let's just be clear. Call it what it is. Yeah, some type of creep in the inbox. Like, yeah, you should suck my wing wing. Or some lady that you just met wants you to eat hot chocha or something. I don't know. Um, we have a mason jar with... Ooh. Yeah, because we got binge drinking with dedicated hydration. I was just talking about hydration. Somebody's drinking too much and they need to drink water. Okay, so... We have Mason Jar with the Black Mirror and the Binge Drinking. I don't know why I felt this, but I felt uh, with the Mason Jar and the Black Mirror, I felt like magic uh, could be black magic. Somebody could be doing some type of magic. Somebody could be doing some type of spells to dehydrate someone. I don't know if you could do that. I, I'm not into that, but when it comes out, I say it. Mm, mm. Minimum wage, invasion of privacy. Be careful um, of looking up certain things online. Be careful of smoking weed on the job. Be careful of coming to drunk high, work drunk or high, looking up shit. Somebody gonna tell on your ass. Mm -hmm. Yet yeah, paywall sites. Mm hmm. Yeah, twerking. Somebody could be watching twerk videos at the job. But this, like I said, this is somebody working for minimum wage. These um, self-driving cars keep coming out. Um, they, they could be working on or getting the kinks out of something. And it's something where the car jerks or moves, or shakes, or jiggles, or some type of maneuver. Maybe they wanted to do it, or maybe they don't. Maybe it's like with handling, but it's like it's, it's like shaking. Maybe they're working on the handling on the self-driving cars or something, up in the handling. But it's like, the more they twerk this to be a bit twerk. I don't know why I want to, somebody's twerking. The more they want to tweak this to do that it like messes with something else and it's like god damn we thought we fixed it but then it threw this off so now we gotta fix it again and try again every time they like try to fix the handle and it fucks with something else i i don't know all right oh we're gonna pick some little words here let's get it a couple of words in this i'm trying to put myself on a time limit so y'all notice some of the videos uh cut off we have diamond. You know, I'm hearing blood diamonds. I hope not. That could be somebody that cooks named diamond. Somebody could be, okay, they be doing this shit with the rings, putting that shit in food. Please stop doing that shit. Please stop. Uh, one lady, like, swallowed her. Like, let's stop putting the rings and the pregnancy tests 
in the food, okay? The shit, the bitches are, sorry. Uh, the stuff the females are doing with putting that pregnancy test in their dude's food is beyond me. Have y'all seen it? If y'all seen it, comment below. Like, why would I want to be, bite my taco and see a pregnancy test? Like, some people be slow a little bit. It's okay. Ah, we got tie and soul. Somebody could have a soul tie with someone named Diamond or somebody with, like, a cook that cooks very well. Like, this would be a chef. Um, But we have soul tie here. We have link. Something is tied, linked, put together. Okay. Let's continue. Oh, we're done. <laughs> Bye, guys.